Well, uh, you know, that's a, and I told John this before the game and even after the game, that's a heck of a basketball team. I mean, they are very, very well coached, very disciplined with what they do. They play physical, they play tough, and, uh, you know, looking at their stats and watching some of their film, their defensive numbers were really, really good, and, and that's, that's not a, it's not fool's gold. I mean, they are, they're a legitimate team, and I'm not surprised that they won that league. So, um, you know, hats off to them for a great season and really, uh, you know, came in here and gave us everything that we had. So, uh, you know, good win. Uh, we're happy. We're resilient in the second half like these guys have been all year. So I wasn't surprised by that. But um, finally got some shots to fall. You know, we just didn't get in a rhythm there in the first half for whatever reason, but um, did a good job in the second half of attacking the rim, getting the ball inside, and uh, kicking it out and taking really good shots, and we defended well. So um, good win, and we'll get ready for for uh, either uh, Middle Tennessee or Vermont, whoever's next. Was it a challenge or how much of a coaching challenge was it to get this team ready after? It wasn't, you know, it, I think the way they played tonight answers any question about whether or not they were ready or interested in playing this game. I think that was pretty evident. So um, they've been resilient all year. They did it again today. That's just how they are as people. That's who they are as basketball players, and they show it uh, day in and day out. Right. What's your reaction to the crowd? Was it different? You know, it's funny. I was talking today to, um, I can't, it might have been Kenny or people on our staff who'd been here since, you know, for a while now. We're here in 2006 when we last played in it. And I, for some reason, I always remember, obviously, the crowds at Freedom Hall were terrific, but that those crowds we had for those games there for the NIT were, you just, I remember it being just incredible. You know, it's a lot of people who obviously don't have season tickets who get a chance to come to the game and, and they were absolutely terrific. So we owe a big thank you to the fans who came out today and uh, really gave us some big energy that we needed. There's no question about that. And uh, I've just supported these guys you know, like they have all year. And uh, we're going to need the same thing again on Saturday because it's going to, whoever we play, it's going to be another tough game. <laughs> Brian King and gave you a big lift uh, defensively, too. Yeah, we were active tonight with our hands. I think we had 40-something deflections. We were very active. You know, we played very good defense pretty much the entire game. Uh, we just couldn't get in a rhythm in the first half offensively, so it was ugly. But that, a lot of that was credit to what they were doing. But um, you know, we did a good job being active. We had, uh, you know, six blocks, seven steals, and a lot of deflections. So our guys are, did a really good job and, and were prepared to play against their style. Dave, where did Darius's dunk rank on the dunks that you've seen this year? <laughs> Yeah, well, it was funny because you know, I'm sitting next to Trent, and Trent goes, just lay it in, you know, just making sure you get the points. And all of a sudden, I mean, and I, I guess it's, it serves me right because every day in practice we do this five-line warm-up drill, and, and sometimes he tries to dunk and just can't even, like, touch the rim. And I said, if you can't dunk, lay it in. But, you know, that was uh, – I haven't seen the replay, obviously, but that was an impressive play, and it was a big momentum play. What was your uh, thinking on playing time tonight with a lot of freshmen playing? Well, our, our game plan coming in was – uh, to try to make this a fast-paced game, we wanted to use our bench, get a lot of guys in the game. Uh, you know, Jordan got bumped in, in the leg with a knee yesterday in practice. He actually had one on each leg, believe it or not. It was a weird deal. And then it got re-hit again tonight when he came in the game, so that's why he couldn't go back in. But just the way the flow of the game went, I just couldn't play as many people as I wanted to because we had to find a rhythm offensively. And, and just the way the game was, I mean, it was an ugly kind of smash mouth beat em up game. But, um, you know, we wanted to play a little faster, but they did a really good job of, of making us work on defense and, and using a lot of clock. So, but with that being said, you know, our guys are going to have to be ready because I, I don't know a whole lot about Middle Tennessee or Vermont, but they're going to be a really good team coming in here that everybody's got to be ready to play. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, it kind of reminded me like the Virginia and Notre Dame this year. So the really the crowd got uh, a big effect on us tonight. What do you guys account for seemingly the switch of energy? In the first half seemed kind of when you get going through the motions. The second half definitely felt a lot different. Well, we got some deflections and some steals there, and it got us out on the break. Converted a couple easy ones, and then the crowd gets in the game. And you know, we just we were really active with our hands tonight. We did a good job of challenging shots. Uh, we knew they were going to take a lot of threes, and we did a good job of challenging them. And just did a good job of getting in passing lanes and and just being active. And it allowed us to get out on the break and not have to beat a set every time down. For both of you, your thoughts on these experimental rules? The quarter thing threw me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. That was a little strange. You keep looking up at the clock, and you're like, oh, this half is going fast. But then you're like, oh, wait, there's still 10 more minutes after this. But, uh, you know, it's you – know, Q can answer this better. I don't think the, the three-point line and the, 
the lane line thing probably wasn't a major factor, but um, you know the, the free throw thing is a little bit different. I kind of like it to be honest, but um, you know I, I think you can probably answer better as far as whether or not the three point line impacted the, the game. Uh, I would say it didn't really impact the game. I mean, uh, it was pretty much like the same, but I felt like the difference was the uh, lane line, how wide it was, more wider, and even when people shoot free throws, we were still stepping into the regular one instead of the outside one. So that was just pretty much the difference. Did you, did you like the quarters as a player? Uh, yeah, I kind of like it. I like it. Um, I just don't know when the media timeout comes and all that, so <laughs> that's the difference. You know, Quinn, there was a lot of talk about the team being disappointed and, and, and you know, winning a game. Does that change the outlook about, about this? Oh, yeah, we was def- definitely disappointed, but um, we just knew we got to get ready for Northern Kentucky, so um, the outlook, we just, we just got to keep playing, just uh, try to uh, go as far as we can in, in that team. Anything else for either? <laughs> Who's that? Darius dunked a lot. Where is that, right? Have you ever seen him throw down on people before like that? Is that me? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Darius is dunk. Darius is dunk. Oh, um, you know, Darius has dunk really uh, changed the game. Um, I've been seeing him do that in practice, even though he sometimes he misses it and sometimes he do. But uh, it was a nice dunk for him. It might be top ten tonight. <laughs> Did you have a hard time finding motivation for this game? Uh, no, nah, not really. I just knew um, we just came out flat in the beginning. Um, it really, uh, uh, just our shots wasn't falling. You know, we made it up just our defense in the second half. So that's the main thing. Was there a point at which you felt that things turned from coming up flat to the way you finished? Yeah, we just in the first half we just couldn't hit shots. You know, I thought we played pretty good defense in the first half a little bit, but um, just second half when we got deflection, got steals, ran out on the break, we uh, we started getting our momentum going, and uh, that's how we got our baskets.